Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Isel and this is a video review for Torchlight 2 by Rooney Games. Rooney Games was founded by two former Blizzard North employees which work on the origin of Diablo and Diablo 2 and so they sought out to make a spiritual successor to these games but this time with more colorful graphics and lighter tones. The result was the original Torchlight. The game basically led you through several dozens levels of dungeon, going deeper into the Torchlight Mines until you confronted Ordrak, the final boss. In many ways it was a lot like the original Diablo in which you uh, traveled through the catacombs of Tristram. Now with Torchlight 2 you can compare it to Diablo 2 in which Rooney Games build an over an overworld play as well as uh, random questing and dungeons and the like. Uh, the game is much more extensive than the, uh, the previous one. The game has three acts, each of them taking place in unique locations with different quests and months. Yes. Ultra 2 storyline takes you through a, a quest to stop in the Alchemist, one of the characters from the previous game, which took uh, Ordrak's heart and remove the boundary between the mortal world and the nether, a realm of uh, crazy purple tentacle creatures, reminisce of Lovecraftian uh, mythology. Uh, all through the the campaign, you will fight the the influence of the alchemist to save uh, the guardians of the world. Uh, in order to stop it from collecting their essence, which is vital to this quest. Undoubtedly, this game strong point is the combat system, which to be expected from an action RPG. The combat can be dis best described as meaty, as you uh, do various skills and uh, uh, magic and use your different weapons, enemies will more often than not uh, explode before your eyes and you will even get an achievement from it. Some uh, skills even uh, designed specifically to make, uh, um, to make mobs explode uh, with different effect when they do so. The game has four uh, character classes. The Ember Mage, which is the uh, quintessential spell ca caster as you expect. The Berserker, which is um, a dual wielding a barbarian esque um, melee fighter. The Outlander, which is the, um, the, the mirror class to the Vanquisher from the previous uh, game. And the, engin and the Engineer, which um, can summon various robots to help him and use other technological skills. Even though it may seem that each of these classes has a, a specific way to play it, the game skill system leave a lot of room for uh, making your own build. I, I put so far 45 hours into this game with about six different characters, every one of them with uh, a different uh, skill build. I have three mages. One of them is uh, well a classic mage that fire uh, fire bolts and the like. And one of them is a melee oriented mage uh, with a main skill to create a massive uh, fiery mace that uh, strike all uh, enemy around me and uh, push them back. Uh, the engineer, for example, can be a tank with a one handed weapon and a shield uh, and on the other end he can also be a range fighter with a giant cannon as you can see in this uh, footage. Uh, the same can be said for the Outlander and the Berserker. The Outlander, while his main focus is on uh, ranged weapons, can be equipped with any weapon and take, taken skills that made him a very good tank. Overall, the skill system let you do uh, whatever you like. Another thing worth to note 
is both the extensive uh, difficulty system and uh, the various option for uh, playing the game. You can play the game uh, on the single player locally on your computer without any internet connection except for Steam, a multiple lobby system which allow you to um, which allows you to open game and uh, invite your friend or anybody. Um, the lobby system has also a friend system which you can add uh, your friends by their uh, Rooney Games user username and you can create games which are friend only. And of course there is LAN uh, local area network um, multiplayer option. I say of course but um, this day it's quite rare to see this option in many games including the Torchlight 2 main competitor Diablo 3. Now the game isn't perfect by any stretch. Uh, it still has a few bug here, bugs here and there. Uh, we experience uh, glitches like character popping up um, between height levels and during multiplayer one of us will see a boss monster and the other wouldn't and the like. Those aren't major bugs, uh, it's not game wrecking bugs, you, it's, the game is completely playable and enjoyable and they are patching it uh, constantly since, since launch the game saw uh, two major patches I think and they will continue to uh, make it better over time, all the time. Uh, two minor complaints I have with it, one is the respect system uh, that is to remove all the skills you um, know and learn other skills if you want to change up your character it, that doesn't exist in this game you can respect up to three skill points, the last skill point you spent and that's it. This, for me it's a, down, it's a drawback but it's obviously a well thought out mechanic by the creator of the game to promote a strategic and thought out uh, playthrough uh, of the player. You need to look over the skills, try them out, not commit a lot of skill points at the start. Uh, at one time with my mage I took the three points you get in the beginning and put them in the three st starting skills for each tree and just uh, try them out and see what I, what I preferred. And that's the way to build it. Uh, obviously, um, I didn't know this in the beginning, so the first one or two characters I created sucked and I took skill I didn't use and uh, stuff like that. The other thing that is a minor issue is, is the difficulty. Like I said, there are, uh, there are several levels of difficulty, they are all open up from the start. Uh, there's casual, normal, veteran and epic difficulties. Uh, and I must say that uh, beside, uh, up to veteran, the game is still too easy. One of the complaints people had about the original Torchlight is that the game was too easy overall, even in the highest difficulty. And uh, this is still true uh, in the casual and uh, normal levels. Uh, casual levels, and unless you are completely new to video games, or there are a lot of uh, monsters uh, attacking you at once, uh, you will rarely die if ever. I still play casual because I like the, uh, to play this game as a sort of white noise while, while I do other things. Other thing, so casual is uh, a good distraction for that, but if you really want to enjoy the game you need to play it at least at veteran level. Uh, the elite level is quite uh, tough uh, there is a lot of tactical thinking when playing it, uh, you need to use different skills so you, to make sure you are not dead, uh, which is a good thing. The game also has hardcore mode, which uh, of course uh, w w the first time you die, you die and you can continue from that. Overall, um, it is undoubtedly one of the most fun games I ever played. Um, I can tell without a shadow of a doubt uh, I enjoyed it more than Diablo 2 uh, which uh, while it was a very good game I didn't play a lot of. 
Um, I think I think that this is the best example of the modern market of action RPGs, and that uh, other games and other companies need to learn from this example for the future. Thank you very much.